Hey guys, I know it's been a while. Uh, I just haven't been feeling very inspired this year. Uh, couldn't tell you why, you know. I feel like filming videos is one of those things that you have to be inspired for. You have to feel like you want to do it. It can't be an obligation. It has to be fun. And I felt like filming YouTube videos had gotten to the point where it felt more like a chore than something I actually enjoy doing. So, uh, right now I'm on a break between classes. I'm going to a community college over there for the time being. And uh, whenever I have a chance to, I'll, uh, I'll walk on the lake. It's very, very beautiful here. And you know, although I miss my friends, you know, I miss I miss the sunshine. I never thought I'd be saying that. Uh, it's it's a wonderful environment up here. I'm, I'm very glad I moved. I uh, I really am. When I survived the winter, that was uh, that was a little difficult. You know, snow is not all fun and games like they say it is. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, kind of used to sandy beaches, uh, but the, the rocky beaches are nice here, too. You know, it, very, very, very different atmosphere, but I feel like I adapted pretty quickly. Um, for those of you who, uh, who didn't know, I was completely by myself up in our new house in Idaho for about uh, two or three months. I didn't have anyone else with me. Uh, Sockbox was <laughs> was up here with me for a, for a short time, but uh, you know things changed. Things changed. So uh, yeah, I I had a long time by myself where I was completely dependent on myself and I didn't really have many people to talk to. I spent a lot of my time thinking, reassessing myself, you know, trying to improve myself, uh, trying to make, make strides and learn to adapt in this new environment that I'm living in. Uh, sometimes it feels like I'm back on square one because in middle school, part of high school too, who am I kidding? I uh, was kind of this social retard and you know, I, I had a hard time making friends and you know, a lot of people thought I was weird, you know. They, they still might do, you know. But after a lot of, uh, you know, self-improvement, I got to the point where, you know, people liked me, <laughs> they would talk to me, I had friends, and that was really nice, you know, for a couple of years. And then, what do you know, we, uh, we, we got up and moved to a totally different state, right, where I don't know anybody, where I really don't have anyone outside of my immediate family. Uh, and it's been a little rough, you know, I... I feel like I'm, I'm somewhat in the same position that I was in during uh, during middle school, where everyone has their cliques, everyone has their friends, you know, the things they do, and I'm still kind of figuring shit out. You know, maybe maybe I'm at an age where everyone's trying to figure shit out. You know, who knows? I uh, I once had this misconception that like everybody who had friends was extremely close to those friends and they would have their backs no matter what and they would be friends for their whole lives and you know I I'll really try my best to uh, to stay in touch with my friends in California I really do I, I try to I try to uh, keep in touch with them as often as I can I call I text you know I all that all I can. 
or orange vanilla. This was, this was like one of the flavors they have at uh, Firehouse Subs, you know? I don't know who the fuck would ever drink that. Fucking, yeah, maybe, maybe it's good, I don't know. Orange vanilla. Kind of like those, uh, those popsicles. But uh, anyway, I guess moving up here, being alone for a long period of time, taught me how to love myself and love being alone, really, right? Realizing that as a man, I have to walk my own path by myself. I can't depend on anyone else, you know? Eventually, I'm gonna have to move out, pay my bills, and get a job, and you know, I got all that lined up, so, you know, I have it better than some people, I guess. Um, yeah, the, the realization that I, I need to be self-sufficient, independent, and like emotionally mature enough to be alone. I, uh, I've been watching a lot of philosophy videos, doing a lot of self-reflection, and a uh, particular philosophy that appeals to me. And I, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with adhering to one specific ideology. I don't think you should you know, compromise your own beliefs. But uh, one specific ideology that really, really attracted me was the Stoicism. And uh, I think naturally I am not a very Stoic person. You know, I, I tend to have exaggerated reactions to almost everything in my life. You know, whatever is big or small. So I guess the realization that that most things don't matter, and that nothing is permanent, everything is passing, is uh, is quite humbling. It grounds me. It, it's a very grounding realization, I think. And I'm, I'm happy I came to that conclusion at this point in my life. I think, I think it was a good time to discover that. That everything is just passing, right? Like on a <laughs> on Thursday, I have to I have to present a business idea. I I probably haven't paid attention to what three minutes of this entire class all year. Like I don't I don't really give a shit. I just kind of did it for the credits. Um, but you know that doesn't change the fact I have to I have to present on Thursday, right? All these other kids are. All into their business ideas. They have their their financial plans laid out and shit, dude. I like <laughs> I don't know anything. What I want to do is I want to. Well, I don't want to do this in real life, but like my business idea is I want to I want to have a bookstore because I really like to read. I've been reading a lot too. Um, I've had the time for it, but it <laughs> but it's a bookstore that's shaped like a watermelon. It's just a fucking stupid idea. I thought of it when I was like four years old, right? And like, it, it doesn't, <laughs> it, it's a dumb idea, you know, and maybe, maybe I could have put more thought into my idea. You know, I, I could have put more thought into it, but I didn't. And now, I guess I'm going to have to face the consequences, right? But understanding that I can still try my best on this, you know, make the most out of a bad situation and realize that it probably won't matter in 30 years is 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 somewhat comforting it's somewhat comforting ah yeah i've been spending uh most of my time walking here on the beach in solitude right maybe uh given the occasional uh, friendly comment to a fellow pedestrian other than that you know, it's it's lonely, but I don't I don't mind. I'm stoic, at least relatively stoic compared to what I was before. And uh, after all, I think things are uh, a lot more bearable if you have a nice place to go to, right? Like this, it's very pretty. Ah, yeah, it's very pretty. Anyways, I uh, hope you all missed me. I really do. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I missed some of y'all. Some of y'all. Not all of you. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's nice to be filming vlogs again. I missed this feeling, I suppose. Uh, anyway, as always, um, thank you for watching my video, and until next time, um, bye. <laughs>